Two people are dead after flash flooding in northern Colorado. A camping trailer occupied by a woman and a young girl was swept away on Friday. Jalisa Irizari with our news partners in Denver explains how charred earth from the 2020 Cameron Peak Fire puts certain areas at greater risk for flooding. It's not a matter of if it will happen, but a matter of when. Heavy rain fell on the Cameron Peak burn scar on Friday evening, and for the second time in just as many years, people were killed in the flood. I think it's just kind of going to become a more common phenomenon that we're going to have these post-fire floods, which, you know, unfortunately can be really quite damaging. Ben Livna is a water resource and environmental assistant professor at CU Boulder. He says the first three to six years after a burn scar is formed is when any kind of heavy rain can be dangerous. I think we just have to be extra vigilant, especially now that we have people, you know, enjoying the outdoors everywhere, living everywhere. We need to really take care. Taking care is a bit difficult when living remotely. Much of the Cameron Peak burn scar has little to no cell service, which means it may be challenging for people camping or living in the area to receive any kind of warning. When you're out in the woods, um, you know, there are always going to be associated risks. This is just an additional one that people really need to make themselves aware of. Reagan Cloudman with the U.S. Forest Service says they rely heavily on their Larimer County partners to send warning and flood alerts. But with spotty service, she says it's up to those in the area to make sure they're prepared for anything. One of our biggest messages to people is to know before you go. And that really includes checking what the weather is predicted to be, being familiar with the landscape, you know, having maps. Um, available to look at and know what access points you have. Mother Nature can be unpredictable, but response doesn't have to be. Preparation will always be the answer because it's no longer a question of if it will happen, but a matter of when.